Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka, International New Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do an easy and beautiful design halfway preview of it here. I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe as there is lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturday. So let's start! Okay, this set is going to be unusual because I don't know what I'm going to create. Uh, I will be doing some unboxing for Alina crystals and it says that the life is better with the blink. Definitely, the life is better with the blink. Um, so I'm going to open the box and, uh, and then we will see what we will create on the news. Uh, so depending what is inside in there. Okay, it says we can Hashtag them at Alina Crystals as well, so we will do that. Thank you, Sierra, so much. You love your February box. Okay, so I know what it is now. So that's a February box from Alina's Crystals. Uh, I will give you also the link in the description. So let me see what is in there. Oh gosh, it's a shame to actually damage such as beautiful packaging. <laughs> I feel guilty. Okay, what we've got in there? Ooh, ooh. Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm going to create lots then. Uh, so we've got some crystals there. Oh wow, let's start maybe with the crystals so I can put the box on the side and we can see what crystals we've got in here. So we've got some pink crystals in different shades. Uh, like pink purple really beautiful and they come in different sizes which is awesome oh my goodness they are so nice i love them uh, they are pale pale pink but also ab uh, it will be a shame to use them on the tips because they are so nice <laughs> then we've got some dark kind of burgundy crystals in there and some fuchsia crystals Some pink crystals they're quite nice as well and I like the fact that they are in different sizes but oh my goodness look at them I want them on my nails they would go oh my goodness I want them on my nails and then we've got some tiny heart shaped crystals that's so pretty too um, but I'm going to keep this too for my set of the nails they're too nice to be used on the tips <laughs> okay let me see what else we've got um, what else we've got in there? Okay, so I have some larger crystals. I've got some glitter and we could use this glitter for a set as well. And this glitter would go with this pretty crystals. And maybe with this ones, this ones. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting slowly the ideas. Um, let me put them into space. I definitely could connect it because I wanted to do it so I could connect it with some butterfly and the transfer foil. Uh, so this is from, from me and I'm going to put that there because I feel like this is going together as well. And what else we've got in there? We've got some other heart shaped crystals and that's the nail piercing is it yes nail piercing rings uh, i might actually do some video a separate video like how to do some nail piercing uh, these heart shapes are really nice as well oh wax melt candy hearts i've got some wax melt so i'm going to let me open the smell 
I want to smell it. I really want to smell it. Mmm, that smells... I don't know, sherry? Fruit? It says candy hearts. But I have no clue how it smells. It's just really nice. Uh, I've got the wax melter, so I can use that in there as well. And we also got some water transfer. So that's cute for Valentine's Day. Oh, maybe I will use it. And that's really nice for Valentine's as well. And uh, also, if you use it, you can hashtag as well. Um, yeah, so let's do... Okay, skip the butterflies then. I actually love them. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, we are going to use them in this set as well. Uh, so yeah, all sorted. So this is a stuff which I'm going to use for this beautiful set. I love the packaging of it. Really, really nice. Um, and we want some gnome. Definitely on the middle finger and we could maybe put some gnome in there as well So I want to use the white background for it and in this case we are going to sugar this nail So on this nail we are going to put some sugar. I'm going to apply the high shine no wipe top gel And the reason for it is um, I want to have kind of balance of the white designs and I want to have a balance of the uh, colorful designs. So I've got the mixture of the sugar in here and we are going to sugar it this nail. Sugar nails always looks really nice and pretty. And then cook it. Now I need to, in the meantime, because I wasn't expect, I didn't knew what to expect. I need some water and the cameraman is going to bring some water for me uh, and a little box so i will be really steady showing you things and we are going to open this up okay so just open it here we are And yes, they are water slide decals, so I'm going to cut out the gnomes I love the most. And I do really love the long ones, like I think they are so super cute. So let me cut it. So I'm just cutting it out. Thank you. And that will go into our middle finger, definitely. Mm. And then we are going to use for a thumb. Oh gosh, this one or maybe something different. Let's do this one because it's quite large so I can squeeze it on the thumbnail. Gnome family. Actually, they are super cool. Um, it would be quite nice to freehand them as well, but obviously with the water decals, life is much, much easier. I didn't use the water decals for ages, uh, and I believe there should be some, some part which I need to pull it from the top, and some of them at least. Let me check if this ones do have it. No, yes or no, no. Okay, so they don't have it. So you don't have to peel the film uh, from them because sometimes you've got like a protection film in there, uh, but they do not have it. So let me put it into the water. Okay, let this water soak in. And you are going into our middle finger. Ok, 
here you can see it I'm already starting sliding it off just a little bit longer soaked so we don't damage the transfer let's put this one inside as well you speed up okay so you have to have it plenty of water in there uh, so if I will be using this um, on the client, I would apply the gel polish color top coat, then bath the needle. So I've got the same situation like in here, and then apply the decal. Okay. Because this way you could move it into the direction you want, and then just wait for it to dry. Okay, let's maybe put him on the bottom. That is cool and just sit it and wait for it to dry. I also want to do something with this glitter uh, because I think it looks so pretty. So I'm going to open it up and search for some empty box. I've got some box with some crystals which I'm just going to put it on the side so I can put my glitter in there because I don't like uh, I don't like using the glitter from the from the packaging I prefer using it from the pots oh come on Okay, so I'm just going to take some scoop of this glitter and it's so pretty, really pretty. The next transfer is ready. We are going to put it into our thumb. And I want to put it at quite low. So I've got some room on the, uh, for the design on the top. Picking up some water so uh, it's nicely carved into the shape of the needle. Don't put it too close to the free edge so it doesn't peel and then let it dry. Okay, and the glitter. So for the glitter mix, I'm going to use uh, my mix it, uh, mixing palette and some base gel. So I've got just some soak of base gel. <gasps> I know what we will do. Oh my goodness, I know what we will do. See, that's what I love. Yes, <laughs> hearts from them. So black foil uh, gel art. Um, and we are going to do the hearts. See, cameraman reads in my mind. <laughs> he does. He does read in my mind. Okay, this is going to be actually cool. I'm, I'm super excited now. Uh, D-liner brush. Clean it well because I've got some other gel polish in there. And then we are going to do some hearts. So don't bother how you paint the heart shape. Like, really don't bother. Uh, and I was actually missing some kind of uh, color of the glitter like this so I'm really not fussy about painting the heart uh, all you want to do is make sure the edges of the heart are nice shaped so don't bother about the middle is the outside part you want to be nice Okay, even if you go like this, it's fine. Don't bother about it. So inside, you don't care about inside, you care of the outside. And of course, now you care what you paint.
to another swirl. Don't want to do it too much. Uh, okay, so that's plenty. I put it on the side. I don't want to cure it yet because I want to have similar time everywhere. So we are going to do similar design here now. Again, I'm not bothered about the middle. This way it's just much quicker um, to paint it. Fix the shape. So all I care is outside. And of course the swirls, like the swirls needs to be nice. Okay, another swirl. And when we're using uh, this um, this gel, we need uh, the curing time is really important. So what I need to do it is cure it for 60 seconds on the low settings. Okay, 60 seconds on the low settings. Got one tip, and the second tip, and let's cure it. Uh, the pinky is ready. So I'm just removing excess of the sugar and we can place it in there. Now I've got mixed fillings. Do I want gold or do I want rose gold? Maybe let's do it rose gold because we've got those pink in there. So I feel like it will go more. So I'm going to cut some rose gold transfer foil. One piece, second piece, clean it on the back and then I can remove the first tip, place in between my fingers and apply it into the tip. You want to kind of uh, hold it and move it a little bit your finger, not too much, not too strong, because the design is kind of 3D, uh, not 3D, but you know, with the gel, we've got some uh, sticking out parts and then lift it up. Okay, so we get a nice coverage. Come into the second part. At the same time, I'm trying to don't touch other parts of the gel. Uh, because you kind of go, got one go and then you remove the inhibition layer. Okay, so I have transferred the transfer foil all over the design. Of course, it did transfer inside as well, but we wasn't bothered about the inside because uh, we are going to do some beautiful liquid stone in there. Okay, do the same in here. Hold it to heat it up a little bit. You don't want uh, the tip to cool down uh, 
too much. Like I have heard sometimes opinion that uh, you want the gel to cool down before transferring. I find that actually I want my gel to be kind of warm for the transfer foil to stick in well. Okay, and then once I'm happy with it, we can move on into the next step. So the next step is put them on the side and let's do something in there. Just so the things match together, I'm going to paint actually with the dotting tool some tiny wee heart hearts. I like when the things match. Okay, so three hearts, cook it. And just a one heart in here. I like to do also on even numbers. I think it's just better. Now, because for a hearts I have used slightly thicker uh, application, I'm going to cure it 65 seconds instead of 60 seconds. That's why it's important you kind of uh, work through your curing uh, time uh, on yourself uh, because it will depend um, on the uh, thickness of the product you apply. Base gel dipped in into the glitter. So I've, I've got some glitter on my mixing palette and then apply the base gel in there. So first layer, base gel, and then pick up the glitter. Oh my goodness, how pretty it is. I love it. I love it so much, wow. Okay, give it a cure. Quickly remove my hearts. <laughs> and the next one before it's overcooked. Okay, so we've got those cute rose gold hearts in there. Base gel. You could do it with the builder gel as well. Uh, pick up a glitter scoop. Now you understand why I wasn't bothered about the middle, because we are hiding the middle. Uh, any more of the Valentine's designs, but then obviously, I honestly had no clue what is inside. Thank you so much, Sierra. In second layer, okay, because we want the things to look really nice and pretty. So I'm picking up the mixture again. And what it will do is it will fill up those uh, see-through places and give you a kind of more of a dimension. And even if I would use the Builder gel, I would still uh, do it in the two, three layers uh, because it just looks more interesting, much more interesting. The way the glitter uh, reflects the light, the way it looks. Cook it in. They are called liquid stones and guys like transfer foil and the liquid stones. I love this technique like it I could I, in my head I've got millions 
uh, ideas for the designs. Um, obviously, I just don't want to keep you... I'm trying to swapping techniques because uh, I don't want to uh, keep you bored, but transfer foils, liquid stones, one stroke. Um, this is uh, definitely my favorite, favorite techniques and you can combine them together and do so many beautiful and pretty, pretty designs. Actually, I'm going to hashtag uh, Alina Crystals with this set. I hope they will like it. <laughs> okay, kick it in. Uh, let's see what else we want in there. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, sticky finger. Oh, typical me. Disasters love me. Okay, if the things happen like this, slide in back a little bit more water. But what I did is I had a little bit of stickiness on my finger and that's what happened it. But that will indicate to me, I would be worried as this is going to last on my client nails. Um, so what I would do to protect it from coming off, I would apply base gel over it. And I am also going to use the base gel for some crystals application because I feel like they would really nicely sit in there. Okay, so I'm just going to apply some crystal. I love those pink ones for this set. And then the smaller ones. Actually, I was supposed to use the other ones, but Okay, so three crystals there, the base gel over the transfer. And I use this technique also for a transfer foil. Uh, I apply base gel over it. Um, and then my client's having a really long lasting nail enhancements. and then cook it in. Okay, same in here, couple crystals and the base gel over the design. I actually didn't expect the um, transfer to lift off. There we are, now it's secure and I don't have to worry at all. Crystals always looks good. This is actually quite nice, um, unboxing some stuff and then coming up with the idea as you go inside. <laughs> but I think like um, what I find it uh, is each time when I'm buying some new stuff or when I'm getting some new stuff, uh, my head is full of some new ideas. Uh, now here a drop, a drop. We want to place some crystals there as well. And uh, that's why I love it so much, getting new stuff. So in a swirl place, I'm just squeezing some small crystals. Ah, pretty. Cook it in. Do the same in here and then I can show you the full look which we have created today using this surprise box from Alina Crystals. Cook it in. Okay, so we've got the pinky. Uh, now we need to top coat the middle finger. I love the middle finger. It looks so cool. We could give him... Yeah, why not? Okay, guys, um, I'm going to do something else. So I like the fact uh, that we have got this beautiful glitter and I'm going to do some liquid stone in there as well. 
So we can play with the things, you know, even if it's a transfer, you can customize it to your own design. I love it. I love it. Okay, so we can put some glitter and I'm going to do his hat the same color. Just slap the sparkle there. <laughs> I'm going to do even more. Oh my goodness, I'm terrible. I am terrible. My head is exploding now and it's telling me, give him some sugar beard. <laughs> Bird, bird, bird. Oh, I'm always useless. I'm always useless with this word. I think I'm never gonna learn that one. Okay, and, okay, I'm going to use one heart, which we've gotten here. So clean my brush drop of base gel and this beautiful small heart goes into his hat. It doesn't look like a transfer anymore to be honest. It looks like you have just free-handed. <laughs> uh, cook it in. Okay this one is ready. I'm just going to is it ready or do I want to add something else into it? <laughs> no, it is ready. Don't overdo it, the rota. So top coat over it. Uh, I'm avoiding the crystals. I don't want to put the top coat over the crystals. The base gel is absolutely enough to hold them. Okay, cook it in. This one is ready. I love it, this one. I love this one. The middle finger is so beautiful. Okay, top coat over it. Okay, we've got top coat. Sorry, I'm always really fussy how I apply the things. Next one. And you can apply the top coat over the heart, no problem. Uh, you could also do the heart after you apply the top coat, um, whichever way you prefer it, it is absolutely fine. What I love about it is um, those kind of liquid stones don't come off, so they are great for some clients. Top coat over this one. it. Okay, this one was first and it's ready. That's our index finger. You can see it how beautiful those glitter looks. Absolutely amazing. Okay, then the middle finger is ready as well. That's so cool. I love middle finger. I love middle finger. Should we do the sugar ink? Oh gosh. No, it will be over the top. It will be just over the top. Okay, I'm just going to show you 
the entire set. I love the middle finger so much. Sorry, not enough blue tack in there. And I don't want to touch the tips when they are freshly done. If you do touch them, uh, the top coat always needs to cool down. Even if it doesn't have inhibition layer, uh, there is an inhibition layer. Like, maybe not inhibition layer, there is some stickiness to it, if that makes sense. That's why we can um, apply some chromes in there. So I don't want to leave my fingerprints until it cools down. And then this one as well, the ring finger. So that's the set we have done today. And I hope you guys really enjoy it, it so much. Actually, it is a fun set. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is really fun set. Uh, Valentine's, I will show you like this so you can see the transfer. And then I show you how nice and blingy it is. I love the middle one. Oh, this is so cool, those three needles. And really zoomed in so you can see the glitter. I'm sending you lots of glittery hooks and bye for now.